You are watching WPTV. Um, so I come from a pretty white trash family. Thanks. Um, if anyone watches Shameless, it's kind of like that. <laughs> like when the Social Security check runs out halfway through the month, You've got one carton of milk to last the next two weeks. So your mom starts tearing up the house, flipping over cushions, looking for loose change so she can buy cigarettes. <laughs> but it's okay. She always shares. <laughs> and then um, she has your handicapped brother start helping out. He's sort of like the family cash cow because it's his social security check. <laughs> Um, my brother has autism. Uh, the other day I heard my mom on the phone talking about how hard it is raising two special needs children. <laughs> she only has two children. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's not like other moms. Um, my mom pre-games before doing the FAFSA. We went to see Bohemian Rhapsody the other day. As soon as we got in the car, she was like, I'm in the mood for alcohol. How about you? And I was like, it's 10 AM. <laughs> After the movie, it was very emotional. She turns to me and goes, I haven't needed a cigarette that badly since the night I made you. <laughs> we did actually go to the bar afterwards. Um, we each had a Budweiser. She also had two shots of Tullamore Dew and told me to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was arrested, and um, thank you. <laughs> um, up until then, I could say I was the only one in my family without a mugshot, but now I've lost that title. So I call my mom to come get me, and she's furious, mostly because I interrupted Law and & Order. And as she's driving me back to my dorm, she's just like, I don't understand why someone on a suspended license and drugs in the car would speed. <laughs> this is a woman who's had the narcotics unit break down her front door <laughs> and can't fathom I was speeding in a school zone. <laughs> um, my mom has a lot of misdirected rage. Like, my dad cheated on her when I was six, and she still has not forgiven me. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends on Facebook now, and she recently posted a picture, a throwback picture of me and my dad when I was a baby, and captioned it, true love, dot, 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 when I still believed. <laughs> um, my, yeah, so my parents are divorced. Um, I, my dad was the one I lived with for a long time, and those, being raised by a man was like really cool. He taught me all about cars and sports and fighting. I think he wanted me to be his son so bad that me hitting puberty was really hard for him because he's never used the words training bras or menstrual cycles. They've all been referred to as my girly problems. <laughs> um, my dad's kind of insane, like super libertarian gun nut. Like I grew up thinking commie was a curse word because <laughs> that's what he called everyone he didn't like. He literally told me we didn't lose Vietnam. It was a technicality. <laughs> <laughs> if you can't tell by, <laughs> I said that in history class one day because I didn't know. <laughs> um... <laughs> um, if you can't tell by the description I've given, um, my dad is racist. Um, we were out one time when I was about 11 and we saw a white girl with her African-American boyfriend and he just goes, I guarantee you she comes from a broken home. And I look up at him and go, Dad, I come from a broken home. <laughs> now I'll never date white men. <laughs> um, I usually don't. Um, I went out with a white guy one time. It was a very different experience, mostly because we turned out to be related. <laughs> We've been together for about seven years, um, two kids, 27 fingers, and an IQ of 99 between the two of them. <laughs> I have a lot of bad luck with dating. Um, I dated a criminal. I don't recommend it, guys. 
it, dating a bad boy is not like the movies. He does not take you on all these adventures. Most of your dates are at his house because he can't leave without his ankle monitor beeping. <laughs> so um, I've been dieting. <laughs> I'm halfway through the military diet. It's a three-day diet. This is the longest I've ever made it on a diet. <laughs> um, it's really hard because I'm really addicted to fast food, like addicted. But I'm really serious about like starting a healthy new lifestyle. So every time I crave fast food now, I'll just smoke a cigarette instead. <laughs> There's other ways to fight addiction though. A lot of people, um, they wear like a hair tie or a rubber band around their wrist. And every time they think about what they're addicted to, they just, <laughs> they just flick it and they start to associate the pain with their addiction. But I'm a masochist. So now I get turned on every time I drive by Taco Bell. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Thank you all for coming to Common Hour Comedy Hour. Please give it up one more time for the comedians.